While Norwich's tourney run came to an end, so did the UVM men's basketball teams. Much like the cadets, the Catamounts gave their opponent all it could handle. UVM competing with and ultimately falling to the Sweet 16-bound Florida State Seminoles. The Catamounts were a young team. We heard head coach John Becker say that a lot this season, but they didn't look young Thursday. Florida State's beatdown of Murray State Saturday helped validate just how well Vermont played on the biggest stage of them all. It's a little early to be thinking about next season right now, but the Catamounts say they like the momentum they built, and they're, of course, eager to get back on the floor and take that next step in 2020. I'm looking forward to get, getting back to the stage. Um, you know, we just got to take it one step at a time. You know, don't look too forward at the start of the season. You know, one game at a time, one practice at a time. And, you know, we just got to work hard and, you know, try to get back to this stage. It's going to be exciting, you know. Um, well, all up for the challenge, and you know we'll be ready to be back, and we're gonna miss Ernie and Sammy, and you know we'll use this as motivation for the new year. You heard Everett. The Cats will be losing the heart and soul of this team in Ernie Duncan, and a defensive presence in the middle in Sammy Dingba. But besides that, you're gonna see a lot of familiar faces on Vermont come next season.